I'm Marcus. I'm Mike. Are <laughs> <laughs> you saying anything? Oh yeah, you did. You said you're Mike. That was my bad. All right, let's go. Come <laughs> on. You want to change positions? Pause. No. <laughs> High school bus advice. One of the most important things for me was don't have your parents drop you off. Don't be anywhere near the bus stop. That's really embarrassing. You're going into your freshman year in high school and you don't want mommy or daddy or your big sister or big brother to be watching you go off like a kid. I mean, they can watch from a distance, of course, but gotta be like within a 10 mile radius that they can't be in, so. 10 mile radius, yeah. yeah. No, no, no nine, no eight, just 10, ten, ten, ten miles is good. Far away, you wanna know this is your chance to grow into being an adult because when you get into high school, it's gonna be a lot different. From, it is. A lot middle, different from middle, middle school, school and yeah. elementary school. Because it's high school, it's, it's you developing your own thing becoming you. Don't bring one of those gay rolling book bags with you, please. You're going to get picked on a lot. That's you are. Granted, you can roll them, but then if your school has steps, come on. You, you got to put the thing down and then pick it up. And just, just put the fucking I hated steps those on. when people had those. Just, we're in a generation now where either you can have one of those string backpack like this, where is it? Where is it? Oh, damn it. Where is it? Oh, it's outside. But... Why are you outside? No, it's not outside. It's in the living room. Alright, he's gonna go get that. Yeah, like, these kind of book bags with the strings attached, those are kind of popular now. And you're gonna be using a lot of those in college, too. When you're getting on, on the bus, don't fall. Or okay. when you're getting off the bus. Don't fall. Or like, hit your head. As Watch older, your step. Yeah, that's why it's very important because as I got older, I got taller. And sometimes I will forget, shit, I'm like six foot, I have to duck. And I wouldn't, and I would hit my head up against the uh, going down to smack my head one good time. And, and I think. Hurt. And I think where the steps are on a bus, I think it clearly says, watch your step. I think so. I think those are on public buses, too. I think that's yeah. where you get that from, probably. But, mm -hmm. yeah, watch your step. Don't fall. Because, don't fall. You're, you're going <laughs> to, you're going <laughs> to, you're going to be the laughing stock, like, uh, the first two weeks, if you fall. And if you do fall, you and you hit your head. Make it seem like you dropped something. Don't yeah. Fall. And just sit right up front. Being on time. Is also very important because if your bus time says that the bus is going to be at your bus stop at 7.50, try to get there at like 7.45, even 7.40 because the bus may be picking up people like that or yeah. it may be really, really slow. You don't know. So look at that first time that it gets there. Check the time because then you can average out if you need to be out here early or late because, again, this is the first day for everybody. Freshman wise and, and new school wise, so I had some experiences when I missed the bus and I had to take this long ass bop to school. Oh, you it was, walk? yeah, well, I only, I only walked when I missed the bus. Oh, really? I usually just took the green bus. Fuck walk, I ain't got time for all that. I don't have, look, if I'm late, me walking is gonna be a whole nother 40 minutes late, me trying to walk to fucking school. But not really, it's got under 20 minutes. Popularity of sitting on the bus is very important to some people now for my experiences that we're reading off a list don't worry about that for my experiences sitting in the back of the bus was for popular kids and seniors <coughs> now i don't mean like popular as in oh we're freshman popular oh yeah we're cool no i mean like popular kids like the one the people that everybody knows that you don't know because you're not popular enough or you know, the, the popular kids, well, the seniors will sit in the back of the bus. I don't know. It's just just the way it always was for me. So I never really got to sit. I eventually got to sit in the back of the bus. My experience, it was about, I had like four friends on the bus, just chill out on that, on the bus. And we sat in the front, but we kind of made up our own thing where we, where when we sat in the front, we kind of stood. Awesome. When we sat in the front, we kind of 
we stood up and we looked over everybody and we, we even sat on the back like on the seat like on the top of the seat you know what i'm talking about yeah yeah um, yeah, yeah. that's kind of dangerous well yeah yeah there's no well nothing that's kind of dangerous don't take the wrong bus don't going please. home or going to school it's very embarrassing well, i've never taken the wrong bus look well if you take the wrong bus, but you know it's going to your school, that's still okay, but it's not okay for you to take the bus and you're trying to go back home. Right. Yeah, yeah that, that would screw you up. Because before you know, uh... Yeah, but then most people take the same bus going to school and coming home. Like for me, my bus, let's say, was 1300 That would be the same bus I had to take to school and I go to take home. So that is the same bus. Most people don't switch buses when they go home. Mm. So it's important to know your bus number and remember your bus driver's face that will also help you. Yeah. Yeah. And if all else fails and you're trying to go home, like after the you know school ends, and you don't know your bus number or you forgot your bus driver's face, just try to remember some of your some of the people, like three or four people that was on your bus in the beginning, so you know you know. Like, yeah. Kind of follow them. You know. Don't be weird about it. Bring music. Bring you know, like an iPod or uh, MP3 player or don't bring a laptop to listen to music or use your phone to listen to music. It, it's going to be very helpful for those days where none of your friends are on the bus or your first day or you're having a bad day or you're nervous. Music is sometimes a relaxer and it calms people down so music will be a very big part of being in a good mood sometimes. Yeah. Don't bring sh unnecessary shit. Don't bring glue, crayons, color pencils. The school tape. provides shit like a that. good majority of what you actually need. Yes. Try to sit with your friends. Uh, don't be loud on the bus because you got people that, you know, have already been there for two or three years, so. They, 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 they already know how to act on the bus pretty much and they don't yeah. want to hear you screaming and laughing and choking around with your friends. That's irritating. I was one of those people that didn't like to hear that shit. Another thing about sitting on the bus, the buses are designed for two people every seat. Oh, yes. Don't have like three, don't, three four people do sitting in the same Especially seat. Especially if one of them is fat. God, you gotta, you gotta block the middle of the road and then people can't get through. Don't have the fat girl sitting on the end of the seat. You know how hard it is to go through that that like, little that fucking six inch about a foot about a foot of room and all you see is just fat legs just <laughs> <laughs> don't fight on the school bus no don't don't do it main reason is <clears throat> if you fight on the school bus there's nowhere for you to hide there's, there's nowhere for you to run and by the time the bus driver gets back there to break it up, you're already going to have your ass with And don't even think about jumping out the window. Those things, those windows are so hard to... Use, yeah. the, use the back and like try to run towards the back because then you can just lift that hammer with that lever and just push it out. It's very simple. We've done it several times on a fire drill. I'm Marcus. And I'm Mike. And we are Eminem. Yeah, the timing was... <laughs> Alright, let's do it.